I, I want to talk about our backgrounds a little bit to our audience who may not be aware. Mm -hmm. I was born in Ottawa, raised in Bangalore, India, mm -hmm. and right now I live in Montreal, Canada. Um, but most of my formidable years have been in India, and I am still very much closely, um, I relate very much closely to the Indian culture and the Indian ways, my mentality, everything is uh, like an Indian. So I am an Indian and a Canadian um, citizen. And and that gives me different perspectives, you know, on the same thing. Um, but Abhilash, you're, you were raised in Canada, right? Yeah. And born in Canada as well? No, I was born in India. I came here in um, when I was about eight and a half. So, okay. but I've been here for like the last 20 years. Okay, okay. And... Um, and and how is your mindset with things and and how's your uh, ha have you have you been to india have you traveled in the last 20 years or have do you visit india yeah yeah i i still have a lot of family there so i do go back um it's kind of interesting because at the beginning when i first came to canada like there is a uh, I mean, to be honest out of all the places to immigrate to toronto is probably one of the most welcoming and um friendly in terms of uh, having someone to accept you once you get there because there's like this city is made of immigrants like this whole gta is like you look around like you see you see the demographic it's it, um and it's i don't know if it's like getting there in montreal but gta is pretty much all immigrant run um and it's been like this for a while right so you don't feel like you're too far apart like other than the winter and the cold <laughs> which um, i don't think i'll ever get used to but you don't you don't feel like it's a different world um uh, entirely right so um so in that sense like my transition here wasn't that bad but at the beginning there was definitely like because like my schooling was mostly in canada like my before canada like i wasn't really i was too young don't remember much and like my conscious thoughts were like formed after like that okay. point mm -hmm. so i was kind of like whitewashed at the beginning so for sure like until like the middle school and even till um maybe like grade nine grade ten like you know i wasn't too in touch with the indian culture i wasn't too like obviously at home we still did all did everything like the culturally like we practice like um you know my mom's very religious she does all the prayers and we've celebrated all the festivals and stuff but like it never like connected with me um but then when I went back to India during high school, um, I got to experience like the culture for the first time in a way that I understood it with all the people. Mm -hmm. And I was there for a bunch of events and it, it was just like, like amazing to me because we don't have anything remotely close to that here. And that's mm -hmm. when I started getting back into it. And, and so kind of like you, I'm, I'm back in touch with it now. And I feel like, like it's a big part 